Pilates is one of the most talked about and really one of the most revered ways and forms of exercising. And the Pilates chair has been around for a really long time. And if you do a little Google search right now, you can look at a Pilates chair. I'll be honest with you, they're made of wood. They've got kind of this awkward pad. And if you're lucky, they have one single pedal. And they're really rather limiting and they're wildly expensive. They're about $1,400 to $1,500. Trust me, you can look up a Pilates chair. Well, of course, you turn to Proform, and what they do is take a concept that is absolutely a wonderful way to get fit and get cardio and make it more versatile and better and at a better price than you'd pay for a traditional chair. And that's exactly what we have today. In fact, we're so proud to launch this today. You're talking about that famous Pilates chair, but in a much, much different version. And I love it because we have Natalie here who's going to tell us all about it. Now, it's good to have you back as always. Thank you for having um, me. A lot to get into. You've been with Proform for more than a decade. You're yep. a busy mom, which yes. is, you know, a big deal. Yep. We've been fortunate to be on the air together, a personal fitness uh, certified trainer as well, a yoga instructor, which is interesting mm -hmm. because there are some similarities between yoga, i.e. what we're seeing behind us, and Pilates. Yeah, there really is. Uh, but what makes the chair so special? Let's go back in history a little bit. Yeah, number one, the ease of use. We bring Pilates into your home. And like you mentioned, there's many pieces of Pilates um, types, like chairs, uh, you, you might have seen the beds. Going to the classes, you're gonna pay possibly over $100 to get a class in. You pay $200 today and you're gonna bring Pilates to your home. And also, you get to invite me to your home because it comes with DVD and with workouts. So I'll come and I'll show you exactly what to do, be there in your home with you. Yeah, and I love the fact that right now you might be sitting to watch us. Imagine just change the chair you're sitting on and you can really change your life. And what's interesting is there's so much that you can do on this. Yeah. Because first off, the easiest thing is, well, you sit. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It brings the floor right up to you. Right. All right, take a seat. Right now we're doing some footwork. So we're doing our leg pumps. You'll notice our heels are on and our toes are facing forward. And you'll also notice on this foot pedal, it's connected. And let's show this right away. Sure. What we can also do here is we can separate and work our legs independently, which this is really, really important because we have a tendency to be stronger on one side of our body. Yeah. And so when that pedal is connected, that, for me, it's always my right side. My right me side too. is my stronger it's side. It's my dominant and side, probably yeah. for most of us. And so that right side is gonna take over every time. So when we separate, guess what? That left leg has to, has to do its work, just like the right leg, and we're gonna create a balance of strength in our body. Which is a really big important part of Pilates chair. Yes. It's actually balance and strength at the same time. Okay, so what if we say, all right, I'm feeling pretty good about this, really easy, you can get on here and get started, but I need a little bit more, I need it to grow with me. How do I get more uh, resistance out of this? Yeah, we have added bungees to the Pilates chair. And so this what- This is huge, guys, too. What this allows us <laughs> to do is, deal. it allows us to take all of the Pilates exercises and add resistance to it. So I'm gonna hop back right. here. And Suzanne, let's um, come right, yeah, perfect. And I'm gonna come back here. Barbara, will you lay on that chair? Perfect, come to your back. And we're gonna come to a basic hundred. So this is a staple in Pilates. And we're gonna move the band to the back here. And we're gonna add resistance to it. So normally, Suzanne, arms are straight on this. Yes. And of course, we're using that core. That's a big, big part. In Pilates, we call it the powerhouse, the house of our power. The hundred, it's a basic staple to Pilates. And now we get to add some resistance with the bungees. We're gonna scoop out the belly activate the core, you can bring those legs, to, yep, perfect, we can add a bend at the knee or we can go for straight leg. So there's the progression of the exercises and we'll go through all of that um, in the DVDs, the workouts that you get to bring home, but this perfectly shows how these bungees really add a whole nother level to our workout on the chair. Perfect, thank you, that was beautiful, Barbara. Uh, what's the weight capacity? Um, you know what? I'm not quite sure about I will look that. It up. Do you have Excuse that detail? Do. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to have it right underneath yeah. me. I will say though, it's 250 pounds. There you go. There and I is. will say that it has a nice, big, comfortable seat. Okay, that's what surprised me the most. Interesting. Is all? It's almost like a mini yoga pad. I mean, it's really large. Yes. So when you do the exercises, like we just saw Barb doing the 100s, uh -huh. you have a lot of room to work with. Yep. And it feels really stable. Like when you sit on this, there's no wobbling. Nope. You don't feel any 
shifting. I think you can really put this through its paces. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And to that point, the nice big room, you'll even notice I bring my leg up. This is called the mermaid if you guys want to join me. So we'll come to the side here and we're going to sit nice and tall. Pilates is also about posture. Mm -hmm. It teaches us to take up the space that we were meant to take up, right? <laughs> Open up through the shoulders, zip up through the core. This is our powerhouse. We're gonna zip up, support the spine, and then let's bring the arm over the head. Perfect. <laughs> and we're gonna just create that C shape in the side of our oh, body. That's awesome. So these muscles over here, this is called our obliques. Okay, and anytime we bend or twist, we're gonna focus on and target those obliques. But because we're using our breath and we're zipped up nice and tall, we're also working all of those stabilizing core muscles. That's so we're, we're getting a full body workout. That's what I love about the Pilates chair is that really we're working our body connected head to toe. It's not about breaking up the body and working the bicep. And then we're gonna work the legs. And then we're gonna work the abs. We're working everything as a unit as it was meant to be used. Right. Well, we use in our daily but here's, lives. Here's what I find so interesting. When you said you're bringing the floor up to us, yes. it makes it so much more comfortable. If I was down on the floor and I was trying to get in the position and trying to get comfortable and trying to do that, it really would be very awkward and you wouldn't be able to maximize the effort. This makes it so much easier. So you're not struggling getting down and then having to stand up and then move to a new position and all that. You can really gently move from one position, my mm -hmm. legs, to the other, to the next, very comfortably because you're not rolling around or trying to pick yourself up up off the floor. I think raising yourself up like this and bringing the floor to you is brilliant. Yeah, think of um, even kneeling. Yeah, oh, sure. Right? Great when was point. the last time you kneeled on the floor? It's painful right. for our knees. And there's many exercises that we can do in a tall kneeling uh, position. So for example, we take the bungee and we're going to add in some rotation. And rotation is the key to our power. So we're going to take straight arms and we're going to rotate from that low left corner. We're going to bring it up to the top. So anytime we rotate, we're absolutely engaging the core. And look at how stable you are. Yeah. I, like, if even if I was on the ground, I wouldn't probably be that stable. Yep. <laughs> stable and uh, comfortably supported. Right. My knees feel comfortable. Now, I got to ask you a question because there's a lot of hook areas in the back and Great the front. Question. Can you give us a full tour and then talk about the space saving? Yeah, love it. So... There's many hooks on this chair, and I don't want that to be intimidating to you at the same time. The hooks, what it allows for us to do, there's hooks in the front of the chair, and there's also hooks in the back of the chair, and that's going to allow for the chair to increase with us. So as, our, as we build in strength, we can increase the resistance. For example, right now I have it on the top hook. Okay. So if I'm doing an exercise like a lateral raise here, and then I think, okay, I'm strong there. And then I move it down. This is gonna uh, increase the resistance. So the chair literally grows with me. Oh, that's great. And will great. continue to challenge me. Now with that said, I don't want you to be thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna know where to put the bungee. What hook should I put it on? Right. There's a DVD that comes home with you. I'm actually gonna come home with you. And there's four different workouts. There's a 10 minute, a 20 minute, a 30 minute, and a 45. So all of the DVDs, all of the workouts, um, let's say you have 10 minutes in the day, you can get a workout in. That's and nice. I will tell you exactly where to put your bungee on what On hook. each time. Yes. Okay. And then it becomes intuitive. And here I love the workouts, you guys, because I do think you'd look at this and go, a chair, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. The 10 minute is called sweat and go. Mm -hmm. And I like that because you knock it out fast. It's yes. Like if you've got 10 minutes you can give her, knock it out, go about your day, you've got your workout in. The 20 minute is called core control. And we know, and Natalie can talk about that for 20 hours, that's so <laughs> important. It's this whole area that supports your entire body and really your entire being. We all know that. Uh, 30 minute is the beginner workout, which is lovely. That really walks you through how to do the core exercises yep. in the program, right? And then the 45 minute is the full body. Please remember, you don't see us jumping. We're not doing anything crazy. We're not not hopping around or having to have any coordination whatsoever and yet you're getting cardio and a full and complete workout it can be one of the most effective workouts you've ever done Pilates has been around for a long time and when anything is around that long and continues to be as popular as Pilates is in fact you know there's whole gyms opening up there's a <laughs> chain of gyms opening up right now and they have the Pilates they have rows of Pilates reformers and you know what you spend a whole lot of money 
money every month joining them, and hopefully you'll get there. But that is how wildly popular Pilates continues to become, even though it's one of the oldest methods of working out of what I would consider the modern age. So it's like, when did Pilates start? Uh, when the, the, the uh, is a dancer that invented it, a ballet dancer. Yes. Gosh, Man. she's like in the 20s, wasn't it? 1920s, right? She invented it in the 1920s, came up with these crazy contraptions, and you could literally find an original and a current day Pilates chair for over $1,500. You know what I'm talking about, Mel? You've seen those Pilates chairs, right? And they're very limiting. So what Proform did so brilliantly is take a concept that we know works, that's very low impact, but very effective, and put it in a more versatile piece of equipment. Also, it's space saving. We did not talk about that, but I love that feature too. Yeah, it folds right up. You can that's stick great. it under your bed, put it in your closet. Oh, that's awesome. I have to say, there's a reason why Pilates is still around. Because it works. <laughs> right. It absolutely right. works. I've had three babies. Okay, after my first two babies, I got right back into lifting weights and running, and I remember having issues with my psoas and my back. This time with this third baby, and he's a year now, I've had such a better time coming back out of pregnancy, because let's face it, and many of you know, pregnancy and having a baby is hard on your body. Yeah. Right, it does, although those little babies are chubby and so cute and you just kiss them, it does some damage to the body. It's hard on the body. Sure is. Pilates, this chair, I'm telling you, it is the answer. It will strengthen that pelvic floor. It will strengthen the abdominal wall. And because we, come, we can become strong through our powerhouse, then we can become more powerful and do the things that we want to do. Right. Guess what? Even unloading the dishwasher, you need some power. That's a great point. Yep. Well, picking up the groceries in the back of the car. Think about it. Grabbing, picking up, right. putting the baby into the crib. Yeah. Um, well, picking up your grandkids dishwasher. to hold them on your hip yes. or to play with Gardening, them. Gardening, whatever that looks That's like. Right. That requires movement. It requires pushing, pulling, squatting, lunging, bending. Right. And all that can be done right here on the Pilates chair. And you know what else is nice about this too, Natalie? There's no cables to plug in. There's no motors to worry about. It's very, very quiet. The only thing you're hearing is that's metal, by the way, which is great because it's really strong, uh, it's really well built, but that's just the metal. But you don't hear a motor if you're in an apartment or a really small space. And, and maybe you've taken Pilates classes or maybe you've never done Pilates, but you probably have heard or read about it because so many people swear by it. Mm -hmm. It's a game changer for your whole body. And you know what's interesting is most people say once they start doing the Pilates chair, they can, every single time they work out, start and, and can feel a true difference in your body body. That's how effective this concept is. Yes. That's why it's been around since 1920 and just has been improved by Proform, quite frankly. Yeah. And I, I think love there's that. a misconception with, um, with a workout like Pilates or yoga where you think, well, I can't even touch my toes. So how can I do that? And I want to tell you, you don't need to touch your toes in order to do Pilates. This chair will grow with you. It will start right where you're at in your fitness program. I'm telling you, you take a seat, Put your feet on, right? And we can even start holding on to the chair. That gives us a little bit more stability. And then before you know it, you're gonna think, oh, I'm feeling stronger. And you're gonna think, okay, I'm gonna bring my arms to genie arms. And this right away wow. requires our body to have to stabilize <laughs> even more. The beautiful thing about Pilates is that it creates these nice, long, lean, muscles, right. right? And that's funny coming from a 5'2", <laughs> short <laughs> Italian girl, right? But it really does, it lengthens right. and tones the muscle. Think, a, think just about the core, right? right? At, when you contract and when you start to build the strength within your core, and I like to say the core, your back is included. Right. Your back is absolutely included. Even your glutes, you could argue, are part of your core. Once you learn how to sit with better posture and really contract and use that core, you're gonna look like you're 10, 15 pounds down. It's amazing. Be just learning how to contract and sit taller. Right. It's gonna look like, right. people are gonna say, what have you been doing? Right, right, what's the difference? And it's yeah. very, very different than going and lifting weights and out there running and doing all that crazy stuff, even taking a class and having to jump around and dance. Yes. It's a whole, it's really a completely different concept with Pilates. And if you're not familiar with it, or maybe you've heard a little bit about it, you can do a ton of research and just find out all the benefits. In fact, some of them that sort of surprised me because yeah. I've done Pilates before and I'm familiar with it, was this one. It improves your flexibility and mobility, oh, why? absolutely, because we're working those smaller muscles, those smaller stabilizing muscles. And so anytime you do that, let's say at the shoulder joint, 
right? You're going to improve that range of motion and the strength of that joint when we're working those stabilizing muscles. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So like yes. think of like those big power lifters that, that lift really big weights or big big uh, bench presses. Those guys and gals are so um, caught up in I wanna lift more weight, wanna lift more weight. So they try and lift heavier weight. Really, they need Pilates. <laughs> All of us need Pilates because if we can strengthen the stabilizing smaller muscles, that's how our power increases. Oh, That's how our strength increases. Because those small muscles, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Huh. So if you have a big old strong bicep, it's not gonna do any good for you unless you have stable, stabilization above and below it. And Pilates so, really specializes in that. Pilates, I mean, that's, okay. this well, here's another does. one for you that I thought was interesting. Um, increases your muscle strength. That really leads to the next point, yep. right? Because yep. you're going to take care of muscles that you normally wouldn't get to with traditional weights, yes. right? Okay, here's another one I thought. Increases your core strength. We've talked about that one, too. Um, and I also think if you are trying to get into a new exercise program and maybe what you've tried in the past has not worked. Maybe you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Or maybe you just have not exercised in a really long time. You can see we're very, very comfortable. This is actually, even if I was just watching television and wanted to sit on the seat, <laughs> it's actually a really comfortable seat to sit on. It's really wide. It has a weight capacity of 250 pounds. So even if you said, okay, I, I need to commit to something, I just want you to notice we have a nice savings tonight. Mm -hmm. It is basically, what are we doing guys? $100 off. Yep. That's huge. Really big, big deal. We have free shipping. And then if you notice down below, we have five flex. You can get this home for under $40. By the way, if you get the new HSN card today, if we get our card, you save an additional $25. Well, it's time to apply for the card. Apply if you're approved. When you order this, you'll save another $25. That's incredible. But you're really on your way to a brand new body, a brand new look. I can't emphasize emphasize how interesting Pilates, Pilates is and the results are completely different than any other form of exercise out there. And what I love is everybody can see none of us are sweating hard, yeah. none of us are breathing particularly hard, but you can get a full cardio workout doing this. Yes, you can. It, it, Pilates brings the intensity of a workout that we need, but there's also that mind-body connection component to Pilates that we absolutely need as well. Something and what that, is that? Like how does that work? Um, you notice that a lot of the movements that we're doing are not real big, real fast movements. And so it gives us that time to also connect mind to body. Mm -hmm. Some of these movements are very small because we're focusing more on those stabilizing muscles. Mm -hmm. And so it allows for us to breathe. You'll, if, you, if you bring this Pilates chair home today, there'll be a DVD that will come home with you. And I'll teach you and take you through these workouts. And one thing that I will drill into you is your breath. Being able to breathe. How often do you sit and just think about and concentrate on your breath? Do you know how powerful Never. <laughs> that alone is so powerful? And so when you take that practice of breath, of being conscious of taking breath in and breath out and then add that to movement, there's your mind-body connection right there. Now, I saw you too, in some cases, and Mel did it as well, you stand up and we work around the chair. Yeah, can we do that? Yeah, please. So, I was just gonna make the point that a, a lot of us, many of us, are sitting um, at a desk a lot of the day, right? Sure. So a lot of the time during the day, you're slumped over. we're here or we're driving the car. If you're a mom taking kids around to soccer practice and this and that, a lot of times you're here. Unfortunately, a lot of us spend our time here. here on social media, <laughs> right? And so look at my posture. Yeah, it's slumped right? over. Yeah, really slumped over. So Pilates is gonna help us open up the shoulder. It's going to allow us to open up the shoulders and strengthen the back. So let's do that. We're gonna lay right on our bellies. And we're gonna fire up what we refer to as the posterior chain. That's a big word for you're gonna fire up your buns <laughs> and activate those muscles in your back. And what I'd like you to do is I want you to zip up. Zip up your legs. So bring those heels together. Good, and then you're gonna lift up through your shoulders. Do you feel immediately those muscles oh, it's in your engaged. back. Oh yeah, it's all, you feel the glute. even my abs right here. Yes, like it, it has to lift oh, up the shoulders. That is such a great point. Yeah. Even though we're laying on them, we still want to be conscious to activate and to use those. Yeah. And then we're going to use our breath because we don't want to stop breathing here in this position. <laughs> and then let's just add a little bit of a pump, a press with our upper body. But we're still engaged. We're Sorry, I was looking at the hooks. <laughs> <laughs> there are. There's.
resistance hooks Well, it's underneath. funny because I wanted to make it harder resistance, so I was trying to figure out how to yeah, do it. so if you do wanted I just to pop make this it harder, off? you just pop it straight forward. So oh, that's gotcha, that's perfect. easy. Yep, so you see guys what I'm doing? There's, it's super easy, it's not hard. I'm literally taking it off right here. And just and popping it, it up to that and front hook. And then oh, you've added more resistance. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. But we don't want to let go of that contraction in the glute and in the back. Okay, now let's open up our legs. So go toe wall to wall and lift even higher. Oh, Do you feel that in a different spot yes. in your glutes, everybody? Yes. Perfect. So Pilates not only gives you that strength head to toe, but it's also gonna give you a nice derriere. <laughs> That's a great say. one. Yes. That's a great lean. You know, if you can do that much longer, I wanna meet you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's come seated to the chair. We're gonna come to the side, so you'll lift Wait, up. Also, Chase, don't mention something while I'm lying here. Um, I couldn't do this on the floor easily. I would not yeah. be able to do this with my arms. I could do this part on the floor. Yeah. But I couldn't get this engaged Add the upper body. That's and a great get point. working out. Yep. You have to be off the floor. Yeah, that's to be a able great to do point. That. Yeah. Great point. So being able to add in elements to our workout that normally on the floor you absolutely be impossible. wouldn't be able to right. do. Even when she was doing the 100s, and that is like one of the most famous Pilates things in the whole yeah. wide world, it's much more effective because she was able to get the resistance on the arms and do the 100s. Yep. And that's you better, crazy. You better believe that that resistance on the arms is also targeting the core. The core area which when is, you're doing it. For all of us, I know that's a buzzword, the core. Um, in Pilates, a lot of times it's refer referred to the powerhouse. Think of it, the house of your power. If, if your core is not strong, if those muscles, and let's talk about what's the core, it's the muscles in the back, it's the abdominal muscles, it, we can even argue that it's those glute muscles. If that core center does not have strength, then anything we try and do with our limbs and away from our body will be compromised. Well, it's so, like a tree with great big arms and legs and a little teeny middle with no strength. Yep, and then the wind comes yeah, and, and it's gonna, it's to gonna the tree. Yeah, it's yes. going to completely collapse So over. Pilates is going to help us to strengthen yep. from the inside out so that we can do all the things that we love to do. Well, and notice too, you know, we're not up here with a lot of music. It's not crazy. We're not killing ourselves. We do not have to be coordinated whatsoever. And it's a completely different experience. I, I really hope you try it tonight too. Because you know, we're already into the area where it's summer and we're trying to wear dresses and maybe you want to put a bathing suit on or you got a vacation coming up in a couple of weeks. And you're like, oh, no way. Or maybe over the 4th of July, you just enjoyed yourself a little bit too much. And you're like, gosh, and, and think about this too. Thanksgiving's not that far away. And so if you enjoyed the 4th of July weekend and you had pies and hot dogs and all that good stuff and you're like, okay, I've got to get it together. I have got to get it together before I hit fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. Why not say yes to this tonight? It is a gentle and brilliant form of exercising. It is addicting to most people. When you start doing Pilates, you really almost become addicted to it. It's not hard on your limbs. It's wildly low impact. I mean, there's very little impact on this and yet the changes you will see to your body and to your mind mm -hmm. are really quite dramatic so if other things have turned you off if you've not had long-term success with any form of working out just give this one try and I will say with our five flex pay and free shipping tonight it's a perfect time to do it and it's $100 off so if you've heard of Pilates maybe you were thinking about going to that Pilates class maybe you were thinking or you go to a Pilates class and you're like wow I'd rather do it at home I'd rather save a lot of money, oh my gosh, you have a Pilates chair at home. Then on top of that, maybe you've heard of those brand new Pilates workout studios. They're popping up all over the country. In fact, a dear friend who's on the air with us owns at least one of them right now. Mm -hmm. And people are going crazy over them. It's been since the 1920s. It must be wildly effective that now, after that many decades, it's hotter than it's ever been because it's so effective as a workout. It's a real game changer. And there's nothing else like it out there. I mean, we have our great X bikes, with many of you know I own and I love, but I'll tell you, Pilates is a whole different story than that. It's a completely different workout. It's actually a really good compliment. Yes, good it's point. A, it's yeah. a, it's Why a would those two compliment. be good together? Well, you're getting a lot of your strength training here, right? Oh, and true. although we have the weights on the on the X bike, it really gives a little bit more of that, that cardio component. So we get the heart, lungs, and then this is the, the mind and body. Cause you know, a lot of times we talk about, we're watching some TV when we're on the X, X bike, bike. Right. but here this gives us a chance. It's almost meditative. Yes. Right? So that's, yeah. I would say that's, the, you mentioned an addictive, like you're gonna get addicted to this. Why is that? Because you're gonna get results because you can start where you're at. 
So if Great you're point. watching this and you think, oh, that's not gonna be for me, I'm telling you, get the chair, sit, and start to pump your legs. And you're gonna get something out of this. Those, uh, there's a DVD that will come home with you, and there's four different workouts for you. One of them is a 10-minute workout. What are you gonna get minutes. in 10 minutes? I'm right. telling you, that 10-minute workout, it's a total body workout that we did in 10 minutes. So you can do that That's before great. you head to work, when you get home from work, yeah. right? Just and knock it out. Yes, just right. knock it out. And you're gonna feel like, I did something for myself today. Right. And not only are you gonna feel that, but you're also gonna think, I also succeeded. True, true. You're right? Yeah. There's a lot of workouts that we try and do and you think, oh boy, that just, that just showed how out of shape I am. I am. Right. But the Pilates chair, it's gonna leave you feeling more confident to come back the next day and to do more. And that addictive quality is also the mind-body. It's that breath right. that connects us, that grounds us. And then you add movement to that, yeah, there's nothing all. better. Okay, so what's the story on assembly? Um, you attach the seat. No, we'll so, so it, it, takes, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to, oh, that's put, together. So it's yeah. to put together. So it's, it's very, oh, very simple and easy. And guys, wait, can we roll that one more time to Dustin if you get a chance? Because remember, unlike a regular Pilates chair, this has the resistant bands that are included. So this grows with you as you get in more shape, you feel stronger, you get that core strength, you get the elongation. I love this space savings. Here's what we love Proform because they get it. We don't have a lot of space in our homes and we don't want to take up a lot of space, but we want to really amazing workout did you see how that just unfolded so you can actually tuck this away in a in, under a bed you can put it in a closet it's not like a, a treadmill where it's taking up you know half of your living room and you have to plug it in this actually can travel with you too so if you're going to be on the go and you really are set to commit to a healthier better you take it with you you could literally fold it up stick it in the back of the car or the van or whatever and go on a trip and have that full complete gorgeous workout that's what pilates does yeah. i think it's a gorgeous workout. It is. There's a lot of workouts that are like harsh and tough and dancey and loud and all that kind of stuff. Yes. But Pilates is a gorgeous it workout. It strengthens and lengthens. Yes. Right? Those two words alone. It strengthens and lengthens. And that's what we're looking for. That's right. We're yeah. looking for that long, beautiful tone. Right. I mean, look at Barbara. Barbara, do you mind me mentioning your name yeah. or your age? <laughs> Barbara's going to be 70. Look at this She's beautiful, fabulous. long, how long have you been doing Pilates, Barbara? 40 years. How would you, would you describe it as a gorgeous workout? You I mean, would, look, you would, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, well, yeah, not only gorgeous results, it's yes. It's gorgeous. But it really is amazing, isn't it? It's very, very fluid and very different than a traditional workout. And I think you're right, because Natalie and I have been on with the X-Bike many, many times. What a compliment to that. You're mm -hmm. absolutely right. If you have an X-Bike, and again, a lot of people get the X-Bike because you need the space saving, you don't have a lot of room for a piece of equipment. These two together will give you the most balanced, and well mm -hmm. thought out exercise plan I could ever imagine. And they both space save too. Wait, that's what I'm saying. How that. awesome is that? Yeah. They both take up this much space. You use them and then you fold them up and you can put, put them, them away. away. But yeah. I think this would be wonderful because one day you do X bike, the next day you do your Pilates workout. Or you workout. can do 10 minutes of each. <gasps> 20 minutes, that, complete workout. That would we be the ultimate. We worked you head to toe, right? Body, uh, super I cardio. I can't express that enough. Our body is not broken up into pieces. <laughs> Our body is one unit and it, and it works in it. Um, acts as one unit when we go throughout our daily lives mm -hmm. and so we should train it that way and Pilates does that absolutely even sitting here on the seat and it looks like we're just focusing on our on our legs you better believe that oh, my core all, yeah. is engaged yeah I'm zipped up through well, those abs and nice and tall but do me a favor Natalie show everybody how by just sliding your feet to a different position changes the whole world this is how beginning it can be. Yeah, so right now, I'm So in, we were flat foot to start. Yep, so we were flat foot, we were heels on. So this is gonna target our posterior chain, our, um, our hamstrings, our quads, and even our glutes, right. right? And especially as we press down, we can activate those glutes. But then let's take our feet a little wider. This is not the most flattering shot, but this is a great <laughs> exercise, so we're gonna show it, right? Those feet come a little bit wider and the toes are out. And this is gonna target our legs just a little bit differently. Oh, but that's they're all cool. muscles that we use in daily life, so we have to train in those different ways. And then we can come, we can even bring those toes in and push down, heels up, 
And you're like doing it on your tippy toes. Yeah, on the tippy toes. Uh, picture like having a high heel on, a high heel shoe. Oh yeah. So you want to lift up those heels. Oh, let's it bring really the heels gets out to together. your calf. Yeah. And so right here in your it. upper thigh area, yep. right there. So you're just gonna feel Ooh, saddle bags. it. Saddlebags. I wish like if we had like a light sensor that would light up the spot oh, of the, the different legs body every parts. Time. That would be so cool. Right? You would see that different parts of the legs will will fire up just by changing the placement of your feet on the foot pedal. Is that, yeah, and that was just, I mean, that's just the beginning of what you can do on this. Please remember that it will grow with you as you grow. Um, you'll get four workouts, which really give you a very comprehensive idea of how this works. But I will encourage you, there's a lot more beyond your workouts you can do on this chip.